They're the ones doing the job for Australia out there. No outfield. The three men close in, a slip, a silly point, and a short leg. No outfield and a big gap between the stumps and the man at wide mid on. Very good afternoon to you, Mark. Afternoon, Rich. Good afternoon, everybody. And just a little skip of the feet doing the trick here. Just enough there to turn a foolish ball into a full toss. The timing's good. The very good players have spin these guys, and we know that. And McGill will know it. Six on the board, 23 overs gone. Here's McGill. And straight away, he's gone again. Beautiful use of the feet. This time it's Chopra. Not quite the same power, but just as effective. It's a very bold stroke from a guy who's hell bent on defence. Brilliant use of the feet. When you get to the pitch of the ball like that, you're going to have the confidence to hit through the line of it. Gee, this is a real about turn. Oh, nice, We've got to go back to uh, a situation where India are 80 for four in Adelaide. Sawag hit him about 10 rows back. Well, there's a bit of turn there, but it made no difference to Chopra. That was a lovely shot. It was just a little short. The batsman waited on it. And that's the third time this morning that we've seen Chopra show his best timing in the series because he's been tense and determined to operate as an anchor, if you like, a foundation for the strong middle order in the Indian side. He hasn't been a very free scorer himself. Oh, nice area, man. Today he's just loosened the shoulders up a bit and his timing's been lovely. There's the odd stroke he's played where you've had a look and wondered if it was uh, Sawag. Oh, 